What's up guys? My name is Austin. I'm going to show you how to install a solid rubber tire on an electric scooter. This um, video should apply for most eight and a half um, or eight inch, eight and a half, ten, um, you know, ten inch, ten and a half tires. Most standard electric scooter wheels right now are um, eight by like two and a quarter or ten by two point one two five. Um, this again, this video is going to apply to you know most of those. Um, one thing I can't really show you is getting um, the wheel off the scooter. Um, every electric scooter, there's you know 30, 40 different companies out there making these things. Um, everyone has a slightly different way of mounting and securing the wheel to the frame. Um, so this video is going to kind of show you once you have the wheel off of the scooter um, with the tube tire, I'm going to show you how to remove the tube tire and then also install the solid rubber tire on there. Um, took us a long time to kind of dial in this process, but we've been able to get it, uh, get a solid rubber tire installed in about two to three minutes. I think a little less than that. Um, so tools you're going to need. Um, you're going to need heavy duty um, tire lever. Um, we've got a few of these guys, as you can see, um, you know, a couple of them have been bent or bent because you do need to apply a ton of force to get the, get the tires on. Um, anyways, yeah, this is an old scooter tire. This is the eight inch, I believe, or eight and a half um, solid tire. Um, most of these things can be purchased off Amazon. You just want to make sure you get the right size. Um, a lot of the rim diameters are going to be the same. It's the tire sidewall size that differs. Um, if you have the skinnier sidewall tire, you can generally not put the thicker one on because it'll run into your fender. You don't have clearance so forth. Um, anyways, yeah, so you need those. Most importantly, um, you will need a vise. Um, this is the vise I've used. I've done it with, you know, got hundreds of these electric scooter tires. Um, heavier it is, the better. Um, basically, yeah, is what you're going to end up doing is clamping the solid rubber tire and dry rim into this guy to hold one side um, of the bead kind of on while you work the rest of the bead around. So anyways, first thing, um, get the wheel off. This is our scooter. Um, you know, once you get the wheel off, if it has um, a motor back wheel or a motor um, wheel that you are working on. Um, sometimes it can be a pain because you can't detach the wiring from the frame. So you have to basically take the whole scooter down once the wheel is off, set it next to the vise um, and do that. And it's by all means a lot more difficult, but you can still be done. Um, but some of the models, you can have like a quick disconnect um, from the motor so you can basically get it away from the scooter like this one, even though it has a motor, there would be a wire going to it. So first thing, um, remove this tire. Um, I'll show you right now how to do that. As you're working around, it gets loose now. And then, that's what you're looking for is to get, you know, whole one side beat off. Um, from here, you can kind of take this guy and then, like that, tube and tire, you now have a dry rim. So, from here, Watch out, watch out, you're in the video. See if that gives you a good angle. Nice, I'm gonna try to turn it like this. So, um, the other thing you wanna keep in mind is the direction um, of the tire and the disc. Um, I always try to point the disc away from the side that I'm folding the bead on so it doesn't get bent. Um, for this specific model, this is on the left side, um, therefore the tread, you want the tread going that way, rolling forward um, with that on the left, so. So this guy in here, um, I'll generally put it in just a little bit of a ways. If it kind of drops down, you're good. Um, the goal here is to basically lock the lower part of this solid tire 
in here. Um, let me give you a little better angle. Um, you know, this is roughly it. Um, sometimes it helps if you get this a little more up onto the rim already, but with the force and those tire levers, you can basically start wherever. So, once you get to here, now comes the fun part. Um, basically, start on one side. Um, you know, you want to start down low, pry it up. You basically have to do little one inch increments at a time, kind of holding it, doing a little leapfrog with these tire levers. These first few can be a little tricky. Oh, so you were starting to bend one there. Once you get it most of the way, kind of gets a little easier on you but by all means this is not an easy task and just like that we've got it about 90% of the way on there now if you take a you know, bigger flathead screwdriver um, is what happens is you know part of it's on part of it's kind of sunken into the rim so if you go to one side basically kind of pry it up just to kind of get it the full full seat inside of the rim equal on both sides and uh so it looks like we're still missing a little section there. All right, there you have it. Solid rubber tire on, electric scooter. No more flat tires. Next part. Um, Get this guy back installed and uh, you're ready to go. Good luck.